Announcements. I have a thank you card here that I need to read, and this is from uh, Life Choices of Wenatchee. Dear Pastor Mike and Mid Valley Church, wow, your baby bottle drive fundraiser brought in $1,395.97 to Life Choices for Real Options Clinic. Your donations are providing free pregnancy tests, other tests, treatment, ultrasounds, parenting classes, and more. Thank you for your partnership, sincerely. So, I'd be praised, and um, as a church also, we um, support them financially, monthly, as one of our missions. Um, so, and that's an extra, extra um, financial boost to their annual budget, and they're very grateful, and so, praise the Lord. Um, they are championing the unborn, and um, uh, those who um, find themselves in difficult circumstances and need support. So. We thank you for their uh, mission, their vision, and their drive to, to be God's servants there. Um, another announcement today, later today, uh, there's a flyer in your bulletin there for a concert. And um, that is at 6 p.m. down at Evergreen Baptist Church. And um, the add to that is BYOC. So bring your own chair. And uh, that's at 6 o'clock tonight at Evergreen Baptist Church. Um, I see we have a couple specific things we want to be praying for. Specifically tomorrow, Kim Wagner will be having some tests, uh, some scans, and that is to determine um, the effectiveness of the treatment she's been receiving for her cancer treatment. So um, she's requested specifically prayer for that and for the, the test itself, and then for those who are interpreting the test, that the, they would, uh, their expertise would be divinely inspired and that she would have good results also. Uh, so we're going to pray for Kim Wagner. Um, you know, uh, Dave and Jan Devinich, they remain isolated in home because of his suppressed immune system, so we need to continue to lift them up. And then um, we want to pray, too, for continued healing for uh, uh, Donna Rodner, and for her memory and for her, her recall, uh, which has been slow since the accident. So we're going to continue to pray for that. And then, of course, for Dwayne's physical body uh, pains and aches, too. And then uh, Dale and Sandy will be returning home to Arizona this week, and they'll they're be traveling. We'll be praying for them. So, and I'm sure there's many others, any other needs, uh, physical, financial, family, relationships. We all um, have hard things to deal with, 
And then we have blessings to praise God for too, and thank Him and be thankful for. And so we are thankful this morning to be Americans, to live in a country with great freedoms, privilege, and responsibility. And uh, we are blessed indeed to live where we live. And uh, yes, and uh, we declared our independence yesterday as a sovereign nation. Uh, we want to remember that we are 100% dependent on God and His blessing. So we want to be His servants uh, and a light in our own country and in our own little world here to our folk families, our neighbors, our co-workers, our community, and uh, continue to be a blessing and a light and a champion for God's kingdom. So that's what I've got this morning. Anything to add there? Yes, there is one thing. Yes, thank you. Oh, we are so thankful for you all being here today. And a lot of things happen behind the scenes that many of you don't know. Uh, you're welcome to get here at 8.30 in the morning and help set up if you want to. Uh, we'll be back Amen. inside sometime in the future. We're not sure when. But until then, as always, set up and take down. But uh, a lot of things happen behind the scenes. You're listening today either because you're hearing this on the speakers or you're watching it online or you're hearing it through the radio in your car. And your, the radio in your car is my brother-in-law, Salvatore Spagnoli's fault. Well, actually, it was his idea. And so he got the idea going, and his, his, uh, his friend Larry Moore, the two of them have been tremendously helpful behind the scenes. You'll see them sometimes sitting over here doing stuff, but they have been a huge help. So I'd like to ask each of them, Larry and Sal, I need you up here right now, today. You can honk if you want. I always like bossing my brother-in-law around. This is great. But we are thankful for what they have done to help us out. And so uh, I did a little research ahead of time. And we just, number one, wanted to say thank you to you two guys for helping us out. I know you don't like the limelight. That's probably why we have you up here. That's our relief. Get over <laughs> so we have a little thank you gift for Larry and a little thank you gift for Sal and just your help for for helping us out here. You guys need to stand over there so we can get you. It's not taking yet. So anyway, so we are thankful to both of you guys for the help that you've given to us, the idea to get us going. And now we, because of them, we own our own FM transmitter. They got us all figured out which one to have and everything. And so I just want to say on behalf of Mid Valley Baptist, thank you guys for your help in helping us get us going here. So Okay, Lane, which would you transition to our prayer time? Okay, let's, let's pray and we'll ask God's blessing on this morning. Father God, we thank you for your love for us again. We thank you for this beautiful, this gorgeous day. We thank you for the nation that we live in, the freedoms we enjoy, the privileges we have, uh, and the opportunity to serve you here. Uh, we want to lift up to our missionaries who are abroad and not here at home and are not enjoying the safety of the laws and freedoms uh, in the countries that they reside. We want to pray for their safety, their well-being, their health, as they uh, sacrifice greatly on behalf of of your kingdom, uh, serving the locals where they are, uh, and uh, declaring your glories, your gospel, and, um, and serving you. We want to pray for them, we want to lift them up, we want to ask a blessing upon them. Uh, we thank you for our independence as a nation, a sovereign nation. We want to lift up our leaders. Uh, we want to ask, Father, that uh, truth would be declared, evil would be exposed, and the hearts and minds of people will be made free to return to you and recognize that we are indeed uh, dependent on you, even though we are a sovereign nation. Um, Father, we ask your blessing on this morning, uh, on our time, as we worship you. Uh, we would ask that we would be blessed for gathering together, that you would be glorified uh, by our singing and by the reading of your word and the preaching and declaring of your truth. Father, we would ask that your Holy Spirit would minister to each one this morning, as has need, and um, that we would be uh, understanding your scripture, your word, and your will for us. We ask a special blessing on Kim Wagner this morning, 
uh, as she undergoes a test tomorrow, scheduled for tomorrow. And Father, we ask your uh, hand to be upon her, uh, upon the technicians that administer the test, upon the physicians and those who would interpret the results, that you would grant uh, special wisdom and insight into Kim's condition and her, her health, and that we would ask specifically that she would be uh, receiving excellent, perfect care, and that you would be healing her body through these treatments. Uh, we want to pray also for the Rodner family, their continued healing from their accidents, and then also for uh, Dale and Sandy as they return home to Arizona this week. And of course, there are others amongst us uh, who are undergoing difficult things physically with their health, uh, but also other things. Life is not easy, uh, but life is also full of blessing. And we praise you and, glor and glorify you because we know that uh, w whatever circumstance we find ourselves in, it is temporary. This life is short, and we look forward to an eternity with you. You have prepared a place for us, and if it were not so, you would have told us. We look forward to the day when all is made righteous, all is made right. Until then, we will praise you and glorify you, and we ask your blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, we've been uh, struggling on when we go inside or if we go inside. And in the meantime, the Lord continues to bless us here as we uh, meet in the parking lot, which has been a blessing. And I'm kind of a numbers guy. I'm always counting how many were here, how many were there, or whatever. And uh, today, we're, uh, we set a new record. We've got, we got 44 cars here this morning. And uh, so. My thoughts are, you know, if we go inside, are you 44 cars going to still be here? Or... <laughs> it's, it's awesome to see you guys, the support that you have, uh, the finances have continued to be a blessing. God's taken care of us in so many ways, and this has worked out fine. This is, I think, our 12th Sunday that we really haven't gotten rained on hardly at all. One Sunday we had uh, a little bit of moisture, but uh, unbelievable. But uh, that's, that's all good. It's all good. Um, we just we thank you for for being here. Um, you know, we, <laughs> it's just a good visual every week to see your faces <laughs> or see your cars. However it is, we enjoy your cars are a blessing. Thanks for being here. Uh, we we're glad that you're enjoying the time to get to sleep together, even in a different way. So uh, again, just thank you for. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone is solid ground. Firm through the fiercest rock and storm. On heights of love, what depths of peace. When fears are still, when striving cease, my comforter, my all in all, here is the love of Christ, I stand. In Christ alone, who took my flesh, fullness of God in helpless faith, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save, till on that cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied, for every sin on him was slain, here in the death of here in the grave, his body lay, light of the world by darkness sang, in bursting forth, in glorious day. Stand in 
victory. Since curse has lost its grip on me, for I am His and He is mine, bought with the precious blood of Christ. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand.